show you what's inside of the Singapore Math Early Bird Kindergarten Mathematics textbook version A. This is the A book. This is not the activity book, but the textbook. Because when I was looking to dis when I was deciding what math we were going to do for homeschool, I was intrigued by the reviews of Singapore, but could not find anything that showed me what was inside. So I want to show everyone what's inside to help you. Okay, unit one, matching and sorting, numbers to five, numbers to ten, order, shapes, patterns, length and size, weight, capacity, comparing sets. So that's, that's the table of contents here. And then you go inside, it is beautiful and very colorful. There are different, most every unit begins with some sort of thing where you look and talk. So there's not just book work where they're filling things out and, and circling correct answers. There's also items for discussion. So you'll see, this is unit one. You do a lot of looking and talking. Um, things that don't belong. There's shapes and patterns, lesson two here, unit two, looking again. This is another look and talk lesson. So Singapore includes a lot of these things where what you would actually do, well, thank you for my ice cream. What you'd actually do is set up what you see here. So you would get platters out and put different um, buttons and shapes on them and then go through for discussion. I will enjoy that uh, Play-Doh ice cream in a moment. Uh, let's see. There's more discussion here and counting. They also, of course, go through numbers. Again, more looking and talking to further solidify their learning of the different numbers. Practice writing and a visual representation of how many the number eight is, for example. So in this case, they would also have you pull out objects and set out eight objects, nine objects, so that the children can see a physical visual representation of how many eight and nine are. Let's see, so going into counting, you go into counting, lots of different items in the counting section. Graphs, you do beginning graphs, shapes, and identifying shapes and, and pictures. Again, lots of discussion here. There are some pages in here that they can do on their own, as long as they understand the directions. There are also, though, many where the parent is involved because there is discussion and you're kind of leading them and asking them questions. So that's important to, to remember. Um, so they go through solid shapes, um, lengths, how big things are and how to start doing basic measurements. Again, shorter, longer, taller, wider. Uh, now you get into weights. If you have a scale such as this at home, very helpful because then you can actually do these experiments um, in real life in 3D and um, it makes for a great learning experience. So lighter than, heavier than, which is heavier. The final, no not final, second to final section of this book is talking about capacity. So this one's fun, we did this one today where we do a lot of experiments with water to help teach the concept of capacity. Uh, the last unit, unit 10, is where you compare sets. We'll probably finish this today. The end of the last unit, at the end of every chapter or unit, there is a review of things covered in that unit. This one was about um, comparisons and sets. At the end is a glossary. And then examples of things that you can do doing math at home like everyday things. This one for unit three, unit four, things that go into the supermarket, um, comparing coins and pennies, as we've done already, um, finding things in the kitchen, and then um, comparing coins and things like that. So this was Singapore Math Early Bird Kindergarten Textbook A. We did get the activity book that goes with textbook A, and it is excellent. I think it's great. Um, just for uh, my children, they seem to really grasp the concepts they needed to after doing the chapters and units in the textbook. And when I started giving them the activities as well, I think they were growing a little bored 
because for them it was a bit of overkill. They, they, they already got it. They didn't need any more. But the activities are kind of neat in there, and I will do a video showing you what is inside of the activity book as well.